Hey guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I have a review on some Essence products. I think I'm going to split this video up into separate videos just because I have so many different Essence products to talk about. I think if I did it all in one video, it would just be too long. So I think I'm going to break this video up. So what do we wanna talk about today? I did do a review on the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Um, I will link that down below what it looks like it's beautiful I have it on today and I just love the way that it sits on the skin and I think this was four dollars and some change super super affordable and I think it compares with some higher end highlighters for sure today I think I will do the essence all about eight shadow pan palettes so they have four of these these are newer um, Essence tends to come out with a lot of new products and then they kind of just get rid of the older products, unfortunately. I've collected a lot of things from Essence over the years and I really like the brand. It's super affordable. It's a, it's a Europe-based brand. Um, these eyeshadow palettes, it says they were made in Italy. Now, before I review those, I just wanted to mention they used to have these four, which were the all about palettes but these have six pans in them versus eight they're a little bit smaller just give you a size comparison here so these are the newer ones unfortunately these are no longer available on Ulta's website now I think you can purchase essence through their website directly I will link it below but I'm not sure if they still have these or not they just don't have them at Ulta but I really do love these. That's why I picked up the eight pan palettes they recently came out with. So these are $5.49 each. Very affordable. I like the packaging because it's just simple and sleek. It's just in that clear acrylic packaging. I just really like it. I like that you can see the eyeshadows through the packaging. And in here you get 9.5 grams of product. I feel like the size of the pans is perfect. They're not super itty bitty, and I just think it's a good size. So packaging's nice, price point's good, and I've been testing these out for probably over a month now. I've been rotating through them. I am wearing them today on my eyes, and overall, I think they're totally worth the money. I mean, $5.49, you can't go wrong with these. I feel like they're very blendable. They're very pigmented. All right, so let's just go ahead and go over each of the palettes. All right, so this first one is all about nudes. And in this palette, you actually do get some mattes and some shimmers, whereas all the other palettes tend to have mostly like shimmers or some shadows with a slight sheen to them. They're not all super shimmery, but they do have like a slight sheen to them. So in this palette, all of the top row is matte, and then these two down here are matte, and then these two here have shimmer to them. So I think this is just a really nice neutral palette because you have like a brow bone color, just a light matte color. You also have a dark brown matte color, so you can deepen up the look, make it a little more smoky. Then you have some nice transition colors here in the middle, and then you just have two shimmery shades here, which are nice. So let me go ahead. All right, so here are the swatches. And as you can see, they're super pigmented, and if you run your fingers through them, they're very buttery, especially the matte shades. I really, really like the Essence matte colors. I just think the quality of them is really nice. So the matte shades don't really kick up too much product, maybe just a tiny bit, but nothing crazy. And I just think the quality of them is really, really nice. My least favorite would probably be the shimmery one right here, which is like that taupey color. I just felt like the texture of that one wasn't as smooth and soft as the rest of them. All right, so this next palette is all about bronze. And you just get some really beautiful golden brown bronzy shades in here. Now, the majority of these, I would say all of them except for this one have somewhat of a sheen or shimmer to them. This one here, when I swatch it on my hand, I feel like it has a very, very subtle sheen. So I would say probably this one's a satin, but the rest of them do have a shimmer or sheen to them. All right, so here are the swatches. These are all very pigmented, beautiful colors. So I think the quality of this particular palette is really nice. Even the lightest shade has good pigmentation. All 
All right, so this one is called All About Roses. So this one has very taupey mauve shades, but it also has some very light colors over here. Some whites, off-whites, pink. So it's just a very like rosy toned palette. So in this palette, you do get some mattes. You get this one here, this one, and this one are matte. And the rest of these are shimmery or have a slight sheen to them. All right, so here's the All About Roses eyeshadow palette. See this matte here? Even though it's a light color, it has really good pigmentation and it's just really soft. A lot of the mattes are just really soft and creamy. I really like the matte shades. So the only shadow in here that I would say is kind of disappointing is this one right here. Just felt like the texture wasn't as smooth as the rest, but as you can see, the pigmentation is really good. All right, so this last palette is all about vintage. And in here you get some greens up here. You get a white, a pink, a cream color, and some browns. And this palette, all the shadows do have a slight shimmer or sheen to them. So there are no matte shades in here. But I do find that the ones that don't have like a ton of shimmer to them, they can be worn in the crease. I've actually worn several of the shades that are a little bit shimmery in the crease because they're not too overboard with shimmer. All right, so here is the All About Vintage palette. And I would say the dark green has a little bit of a rougher texture than the rest. The rest are pretty smooth and soft. And I would say the pigmentation in all of these is pretty good. So those are all the swatches of all four of the palettes. I just wanted to tell you quickly what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So I took the All About Nudes palette and I took this matte shade here and I put that in my crease. So I did use an eyeshadow base today because I've been testing these out. This is the Essence 2-in-1 Shadow and Liners, which I will do a separate review on. And then I took the All About Vintage palette and I put this color right here on the inner portion of my lid and then I went in with the brown right next to it and I put that on the outer corner and then I took the All About Roses palette I just took this really dark brown right here and I just put that along my lash line so that it looks like I have a little bit of eyeliner on the upper lash line and I used some of those browns also on the lower lash line but that's pretty much all that I used on my eyes. Now I did use one of their single eyeshadows which I'm gonna do a separate video on. This one here, this is a beautiful eyeshadow but it also makes a great highlight and it also is good for the inner tear duct area. It just brightens really beautifully. So that is it for these all about eyeshadow palettes, the eight pan palettes. I totally think they're worth the money. $5.49, you really can't beat that. And again, I don't know how they do it. Like the quality of the shadows the packaging for the price like it's just super affordable so I love Essence I think they do such a good job with some of their products and I think they have a lot of hits um, more hits than misses for me they're worth checking out for sure and as far as lasting power with these I personally don't have a lot of issues with my eyeshadows fading for the most part so these for me last all day I don't have any issues with them fading but I don't have super oily lids my eyelids are a little bit more on the dry side so just keep that in mind but for me personally, I just think these are a hit. I love them. I think they're worth the money and they're worth checking out. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.